Hi, I'm Femi OK. It is time for nature. We are going to go to India to meet Afro Shah, who is a UNEP champion of the earth. Now, what Afros did, so simple, so straightforward, and yet so brilliant. Afros, remind us of the story. See, I have been uh, I've been living a very sustainable life for very long. You know, my plastic packaging has been out of my life for years and years on. But when I shifted to Warsaw five years back, and this beach I played on as a young kid, you know, I used to swim on this beach. And when I shifted here five years back, what I saw was devastating. I actually came back home. I cried. I looked. I said, "Oh my God, what has happened on the beach? Water and five and a half feet of plastic. You could drown in it. And when you see something like this, something radically changes inside you. It may change for the worse, or it may change for good. Thankfully for me, it changed for the good." Avrosh, you started a movement. People are doing this all over the world. They are looking at their spaces and saying, "How do we clean them?" When I saw that five and a half feet of plastic on this three-kilometer beach all through, I had to start my journey. But I knew for a fact that if I started my journey and if I'm able to provoke others to do it, and if they joined in, the fish, the dolphin, the sharks, the whale, the turtle, they'll feel much more secure and safe. And this journey will have to continue. Each one of us, we are seven billion on this planet. Each one of us will have to do their bit. You brought. Pictures with you. They're all of trash. Here's a picture of trash. Here's another picture of trash. Here's another picture of trash. Pick one of them and tell us why it means so much to you. The picture which I pick up, which is five years or so, a beach, and I'll tell you when it was. So the monsoon were hitting Mumbai. Okay, monsoon time is June. Now it will start, and the whole beach was plastic, which get wrapped around because of the waves. So and when I saw that, I said, Oh my God, this is a very very difficult job on hand. If I hadn't started, who would? And as you rightly pointed out, Femi, uh, one person starts, and then people all over the globe take it on. Afros, people invite you to clean their beaches wherever you <laughs> happen to be. This journey is not about me. I'm just a symbol of what has happened. We need leaders, and millions of millions of Afros. Our journey is to create leaders and not followers. We have billions of followers. Leaders who take charge of their environment in every city. If you are living on a beach, please take charge of your beach. If you are living near a river, please take charge of your river. Reduction of the garbage is key. Circular economy is the key. Cleaning is one spectrum of it. How do you reduce your garbage? Otherwise, what will happen? We'll keep on generating garbage, and we'll say, "Come on, we'll recycle it." And that's not the solution. So. However many times we go out to the beach and we pick up the plastics, or maybe we go with our own bags to buy our produce. What about the entire industry that is out there, regardless of what we do? The problem is not a plastic. The problem is plastic pollution. We have cleaned up 40 million kgs of plastic for five years. That's a huge cleanup operation at different ends. Training up 200,000 people up for circular economy, how to reduce gas. Having done that, I feel we need to draw a middle course. The middle course is this: unnecessary plastic all must go. Whoever produces the plastic must take it back for recycling. What do I leave these young kids with? A ocean which is full of plastic, a river which has turned into a sewage, a forest which is no more a forest. This is a question which must ask us and then answer ourselves. Saying that we can't do it, hence we must collaborate. Plastic industry should come forward. Should come forward in a big way, saying that we understand plastic is a great product, but we'll recycle it. Afros, what does World Environment Day mean for you? So, World Environment Day is an opportunity for all of us to rethink our lifestyle, to rethink who we are, and to rethink how our equation with other species should be. Let's redefine this equation with other species. That's the need of the hour. UNEP Champion of the Earth, Avros Shah. Thank you for making time for nature.